All right, so in the process of kind of just jamming and looping the whichever verse, pre or chorus idea, just so that Jared can focus in lyrically and zone in on what he wants to do on that, on that end, I get lost in the music as well. As I mentioned earlier that I sometimes like to fiddle around, but not, you know, not deviate from the vibe originally, but just kind of add. And in that process, what it does is also stimulates Jared. It really just kind of helps us get lost and vibe out in the music. So in that process, I grabbed the guitar here that I have on my, it's just like a cheap little Fender Squire guitar. And I am plugging it into my warm audio preamp. The same thing as the vocal chain. It's going through the 1176, the WA76. And then what I'm doing is I have a, an audio track here that I created on the fly while this is looping. Again, this is all about not stopping and starting and, and just continuing momentum. So while it's looping, while he's vibing, I just created an audio track, put the input to monitoring so I can hear myself. And then I've got a couple plugins to just give some texture and space. I'm just kind of jamming out really. And that's what we have here. So let me just solo this track. Here is with everything. I'm going to walk you through each of the plugins and what they're doing. But we'll start with just the raw audio. And this is me just jamming out. It's amazing. I'm a virtuoso, right? No, but what I'm doing here is just trying to, you know, create some atmosphere and space. So the first plug in here is Guitar Rig. This is also by Native Instruments. I've got the AC box, just the regular the way it comes when you load up the preset. And I added the Ableton Livestock Compressor. Then right on to the Chorus Ensemble. This is the stock Ableton Live Chorus. Love this plugin, use it all the time. And it's gonna give a little bit of echo, some delay on there. This is set to an eighth note delay. And I like filtering out my delays. That's why I like using this plugin because it has a built-in filter to it. So it's actually filtering out somewhat like EQing the signal that's flowing through the delay. So I don't like a lot of the low end going through on the stereo delay. So I'll cut that off and just kind of focus on the high in the mid range. And then let's create some space, real atmospheric type stuff. So I'm going to insert a reverb. And once again, the way Ableton Life works, it's the chain is going from left to right. So the guitar amp, compressor, chorus, delay, and now we have our reverb. This reverb in particular is a combination of two reverbs. We have a convolution reverb and a digital algorithm reverb, and you could blend between the two. And what I like about this is the pre-delay, you can actually go classic milliseconds or sync it to the project. So I have it at every fourth, sixteenth note there and dial the feedback. And this is me just tweaking some of the parameters to while I was jamming live. And again, this is more of that getting lost in the flow of things here to really create a vibe and atmosphere that enhances Jared's ability to just keep locked in and write on some lyrics. So just dialing up and down the dry and wet, so it just makes a really cool vibe. I like the pre-delay where it's at because I can hear the dry guitar tone and then the reverb comes a lot later than that, so that's the effect. Then EQing that signal right here with the built-in EQ. And I'm gonna use a compressor to sidechain. In this case, rather than having a specific, like a kick drum or a snare drum sidechain the compressor, in Ableton Live, I can open up the sidechain section here. I'm choosing, I want the kick drum to sidechain, but you notice that the XO is having both the hi-hat, snare, and the kick drum all coming out in the same place. So what I'm gonna do is use an EQ. So anything from 153 hertz, uh, well, I just moved that up, but 153 hertz or below will cause the compressor to sidechain. And what's happening is it's causing the guitar signal to duck out of the way once anything from that frequency or below is heard. In this case, primarily the kick drum. I like the effect it's giving the guitar. It's got this pulse action going on. 
So it really does, it's adding, adding movement. And I love that. I love things that are moving, things that have some character to it. I think it's a really cool texture to the track. So it adds some atmosphere. So let me play you. I think I was looping this during the chorus section, or no, actually where he was rapping. So one of the perks of working in the session view with Ableton Live is that I don't have to alter any of the arrangements. So if I'm taking things out or let's say adding things such as this guitar part, we have here uh, the second verse, which I think Jared was uh, working on a rap part here. I can add things in my session view, tamper and mix around with the arrangement without literally moving the arrangement here in the arrangement window. This stays the way it is. And the moment you incorporate an element that's not part of the arrangement, you will see this little track or this triangle here show up on that specific track. It's grayed out, meaning, hey, you're stepping away from the current arrangement. Feel free to jam, do what you gotta do. And at any moment you wanna go back to the way you had the arrangement, you could hit the button here or the back to the arrangement button. And now I'm focusing on the way I have it linearly in the arrangement window. That's what's going on. Let me go and play you with the guitar part and let's add it. So I'm gonna go ahead, click this, hit the tab button and add that into our chorus section and see what that does. Now I know I had a guitar already here. This is the virtual instrument guitar from Contact. Sounds cool, I like it, it has a unique texture. So this might be just for like atmospheric stuff. It's like the moment I hit mute, you notice like that emotion just went away. And that's important. Like I wanna add things that make sense and enhance the emotion or the vibe, the energy of the track, not necessarily just add something for the sake of adding it. So that's, that's an important thing here. Feeling alone in the 